understand between man and God. And that's why people can't understand God because they're trying to serve God in the flesh. They're trying to serve God in, in their attitude. But you have to serve God in spirit and truth. So God made man, and God said one day that it's not good that a man should be alone. Amen. God said it's not good that man should exist by himself. So I'm going to give a man someone to love. And that's why I say all the time that a relationship involves two people. God and man, and then now man and woman. And the thing I'm going to make that so unique, if you want, I'm, I'm, I'm saying the women all the time, if you want a good man, then you have got to be a good woman. Let me set that straight. I, I don't, I ain't no amen. I ain't trying to talk about it. You know? I'm taking that deep. You want a good man, you better stop, stop being a, a had good woman. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Don't know good man won't know have good woman. Either. See, a man is a man is a fisherman. A fisherman don't go out there to catch no purchase. Ain't out there trying to catch no 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 uh little fish. A fisherman go out to catch the best fish in the in the lake, in the river, in the ocean, in the, wherever it is. He wanna be a master fisherman. When he cast that line, he's not trying to catch no perch. He's not trying to catch no anything. He's trying to catch a fish. He can take home and put his wall and say, this is a catch of my day. Look what I caught on my fishing line. So when, when God said, when God said I, a man needs someone, he, he, he reached down inside a man Pulled out a man, a real, from the man, not from anywhere, from the man. He was the man then. Yeah. God took that man real and made him a woman. Yeah. That he would fit in good with. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then God hand carried this woman over to Adam to see whether or not Adam would have her or not. See, Adam could have could have rejected that. He because marriage is not a commandment. Marriage is not a commandment. You ain't got to get married. Nobody going to come and see you here because you don't get married. The only hell you go to is getting get the marriage. That's true. <laughs> but you don't go here because you don't back. But Adam could have very easily said, I don't want this one. And I believe that God would have went and got him or not. Because he wanted to please the man. Amen. But when Adam saw this woman, he began to shout. He said, This is bone of my bone. Bless of my flesh. I shall call her name woman oh, because she came from man. Amen. That's right. So it's more than likely, women, that if you play your card right, you have a trait full of men next week. I say you play your cards right. Yes. You have a trait full of men next week. So there ain't nothing I know that pleases a man more than a woman. Mm. There's nothing in the world that is made by God that impresses me more than a woman. Mm. And when she's a good woman, he gets she gets his attention. Mm. Amen. Mm. See, I wasn't too far off that when I walked in that club that night. Yeah. <laughs> I want you to walk in. Walked in that club one night. Mm -hmm. Looking all right. Oh, Lord. That night. All right. Amen. Amen. 
And somebody got my attention. Yeah. Yeah. I ain't gonna tell who. <laughs> but somebody got my attention. And made me get hurt. Oh, wow. So I walked that thing, I wasn't gonna be bothered. So when I went to the club and they, I didn't go nowhere to pick up. I always mind my, I went there to see how it's called I was mm -hmm. in the club. So I go sit in the corner over here, minding my business. <laughs> and whoever saw and wanted to know, they came over there. Mm -hmm. And then I go home and mind my, my business and I, and I, I didn't care either way. But when you go out in the world mm -hmm. as a man, you look like a man, you dress like a man, you carry yourself like a man, and somebody gonna see you being a man. Mm -hmm. You not got to be no fool, that ain't that great. That, that, that ain't no, you ain't got to do that, just be you. That's right. Just be proud to be you. Amen. No matter how you look at them, see them being proud of you. But you won in the middle. Now, in fact, that's a song I sang to my wife on my our wedding day. Yeah, yeah. One in the middle. Yeah. Were y'all down? Yeah. Y'all remember that song? Y'all come out of the last prayer, didn't you? thought that was <laughs> now what I'm saying, I'm saying, listen, I, I met my wife on March the 28th on my birthday. Mm -hmm. Met her on March 28th. Didn't know nothing about it, but I knew one thing. I know she was a woman. Yeah. And on August the 31st of the same year, August 29th, we were married. He didn't take no jacking up. Mm -mm. He didn't take no living together and committing all kind of sin. So I wasn't gonna have that no way. I wasn't buy no shack. My grandmother didn't raise us to be no food. So when a woman took my house with a movement, I'm okay, moving in. <laughs> Amen. I don't know about what you think, my man. And my wife and I were married on August 29th, 1981. And we've been married ever since. Okay. Now, saying to this, the reason why men make good decisions when they meet a good woman, a good woman will change a man. Yeah. 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 If you want to prove that, then when you meet the next man, then start doing the right thing. I guarantee you, you'll set some standards that he got to raise up to. Even now, praise the Lord, even now my wife's still trying to set standards. <laughs> All right. I can't go to my own bathroom. I have to go back and check. Make sure I got a tardy back. There you go. She'll go back. You didn't have to see yeah, she go. <laughs> but because she does that all the time, now I'm conscious of it, and I'll be driving down the road and tell her to go back to that. Mm -hmm. It's all right. To make sure that I don't have like to be there when I come home. Amen. Amen. I'm trying to teach, I'm trying to teach, it, and I'm trying to teach Bible and conversation. That men are always looking for a good woman, just like a good woman always looking for good man. Amen. And you have to be available when you, when you go to these places for me and all, and you have to always have your resume in your hand. Or you look over, it, make sure you got good quality in the body. Jesus brought man to woman so that man could observe her and choose if this woman was. For him. What was he going to receive from this woman? A woman that is called a virtue. Yeah. For whatever God brings to you, it has been tested and proven already. Right. So when he gives you something from God, you know. 
you get the best of the day. Yeah. And when women get into your life, man, I'm going to tell you something that me and this is your secret. Don't tell nobody about telling you. That a good woman will make you a good man. Mm -hmm. Now you, you, you can believe that. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Ain't no lie, go find a good woman and see you and see you remain the same next week. Because <laughs> she will ask you to do things that will make you do the right thing. Like a lot of men don't go to church now because the women don't, don't make that be mandatory in their house. But a woman got to tell the man, hey, this, we going to church on Sunday now. I don't care what you do on, on Sunday morning. We going to church. And I promise, you might not go that first Sunday. But if she comes and talking about that, if she real about that, I can't repeat it. It's going to be long before you be in that church on Sunday. But why? He's going to keep peace with his woman. Because women are just that important to us. And when we have children by a woman that we love, we also love our children, and they grow up to become good children. So why? We're not going to leave our wife. Yeah, so far we don't leave our wife's children. We stay with them and we raise our children up as a family. And that's why we do it. So we got to hear this stuff. This is what this is critical to look in a look on Sunday morning and see nobody in the church but children and women. And these children didn't get here by themselves. It took a man to get them in. But what's happening to our home now? The men are now saying, I'm going to the game, I'm going to the baseball, I'm going to watch my car. I'm going, and you go on the church. And you okay. He learned to say, no. You are the reason why these kids are here. Come on here, let's go. We're going to educate our in the name of the Lord. Amen. 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 God guarantee you your life will change. Mm -hmm. My kids have never missed church. They are not like and she thirsty. She'll be old tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> but they never have missed church. They had that night. They born. I was passing they were born. And they've been in church every day since. Yeah. Because I've been in church every day since. Yeah. And that's how you rise up to be proud to be called a man because your wife see you as a man. Your kids see you as a man. The neighbors see you as a man. People <laughs> around you see you as a man. The police department see me. They know that I'm who I am because they honor that. Why? Because God has put in us his spirit to be a man in every situation we go into. We become men of value. The men of might. And I thank God for being a man. Amen. I thank God for the men of my head. Amen. I enjoy meeting that brother back there, brother here. Every time we talk, I see some Jesus said he's not just any man. So he right. has a sense of manliness about himself. Amen. And I appreciate it. some woman, uh, and you said it last Sunday, but don't worry about it. Some woman gonna miss, some woman gonna hate themselves because they miss you. They don't, but they don't find nothing no better. Yeah, yeah. And they will hate them. They, they don't be in the mirror. Don't be saying what you say. Getting the own. Getting the own. So why? So they left. Other people in other situations talk them out of opportunity. See, one of the work I, I people let other folks who ain't got nothing, mm -hmm. nobody mm -hmm. talk them out of having them. Imagine that. Imagine you being talked out of a million dollars and they ain't got no doubt. And they talk you out of me. You don't hate them now once you find they don't. <laughs> That's where it is when you miss a good opportunity to have a good woman, good man. You miss out on the gold mine. You miss out on the, on the opportunity to be somebody. 
to be with somebody who they feel like somebody. All right. Yeah, no, nothing, no way to be with your husband and wife. They make you feel that far. Somebody to be. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing. God intended to be just that way. So we give God the praise this morning. Yeah. Amen. Now, for the we to teach. That's right. Okay. We're going to tell you things that you might not want to hear. But you're going to hear it anyway, because you don't have that wrong to tell you. If you think about it, it just makes sense. It just makes sense to have a man on your. I, I want to do mercy of the and they and they had a mercy and they had they were somewhere. And it's bad when you go when you see a mercy, but way with dad was women. Yeah, I mean they were getting down, you know, they were doing the spin around they were, and I just see now one man. Now why are you think women need to dance? Why is that? Why is that? And, but why would you why would you lead to the fact that ain't no man and you gonna give me a woman? That's when they just go home. Hallelujah. I'm done with the other boy. I ain't gonna get him on here. But I got to get him up being last night. Well, praise the Lord in that. Give God a praise in that. Amen. Amen.